morning. I'm Eric Lenask here in the TMC Newsroom, coming to you from Interop in Las Vegas. We're here uh, day two of the show, and I'm talking this morning with Steve Shalita from NetScout. Steve, good morning. Thanks for joining me. Morning. Thanks, good, Eric. Good to good see good you to see again. Ya. Uh, so let's let's. I want to get right into it. Um, you guys have uh, made a couple of recent announcements. Um, why don't we start with the uh, the one that you made a week or two ago first? The one uh, last week that we made is for our Ingenious Enterprise Intelligence product and. What's unique about that product really is bringing together application and network performance management into a, a, a single tool set that integrates into our, our service delivery management portfolio. What's really a challenge for many IT organizations is how do you deal with really application performance, network performance, and get to user experience quickly. And the IT organizations have used multiple different tools to be able to do that. What we brought together is, is really a unification of those two pieces, the application, the network perspective, to understand performance across multiple domains. So say a data center environment, multiple data centers, and being able to look at these transactions on a hop by hop, multi-domain environment in a single place. And, and the idea, just as uh, you know, everybody's looking to do right now, is uh, consolidation and simplification. For, uh, for network managers? Absolutely. Uh, network management has is, is really emerged to be a very significant topic today, rising into the top 10 of, of uh, uh, CIO areas of importance. And one of the challenges there is how do you deal with the complexity of managing blended services, managing environments that, that stretch across uh, different geographies and, and, and data centers mm -hmm. and deal with the cloud and, and this blending of services in those environments. So how how to simplify that in, in, in a single investment is becoming a critical issue. How much does uh, the, the, the adoption and the interest in, in the cloud environment uh, add to the complexity? Oh, it, it, it creates a tremendous amount of complexity because if you think of a traditional application that a user would use, to, in, in, in really the old environment you'd go to a, to a server, you'd interact with that server and use your application. Today, the elements that make up a service that you use, such as CRM or ERP, may touch multiple servers, multiple data centers, and with the blended service environment, you may have a piece of it sitting in your private cloud, another piece sitting in a public cloud, a, a, a hosted environment, for example, and so that service transaction spans multiple domains. So being able to understand the performance is incredibly difficult because of that, that diverse network environment. So being able to have that view is, is very valuable. Good. And uh, if I recall, what you, what you told me is you've also got uh, uh, Unified Communications uh, based announcement uh, out uh, yesterday? Yesterday, act exactly. We, we introduced our Ingenious Voice Video Manager product yesterday. And this really is the integration of the Cytechnics technology that we acquired um, just at the beginning of April. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of synergy between the approaches that they took uh, leveraging uh, really network traffic to, to extract intelligence. And what Ingenious Voice Video Manager does is allows the, the IT team to focus on unified communication services. So voice, video, collaboration, telepresence in a very, very deep and granular way. And, and while in our core solution set, we've addressed unified communications and voice and understanding its performance mm -hmm. levels from a network perspective, what the Ingenious Voice Video Manager does is actually look deep into the application itself to understand the performance from a user experience perspective. So not just looking at does the network drop packets and what the jitter impact is and network performance, but actually looking at and understanding the perceived quality of service that the user is seeing for this video collaboration tool. So for example, I can actually see the distortion, the frame rates in the middle of a telepresence se session if the telepresence system drops down to a lower bit rate or a lower speed, can actually see that performance level as the user is actually experiencing it to provide more rich real-time metrics. So you can dig deep and get those metrics and, and, and look at the, uh, uh, the quality of the services. What do you then do with that information? Well, there's two things. One, it's provided and, and displayed and updated on a real-time basis. So as calls are happening, the IT team sees exactly what's going on. What it enables them to do is very quickly, in, in a proactive way, pinpoint the cause of that problem and get the right team involved. See, unified communications services are extremely complex. They deal with those applications specifically for them, the network, 
many cases the, the wide area network and the service providers, because you're dealing with locations that are spread everywhere, they can get down to really understanding what is the cause of that, that performance problem and get the right team engaged faster than the traditional rule out method. So from our core technology in the beginning, we could see there's a problem with voice. We could drill into it and say, well, it's not the network, it's this other piece, and then you'd have to go off and, and, and take other approaches. With this, it's much more unified view that gets them to that source of the problem. I'll give you an example. In a telepresence environment, it's multi-screen video conferencing, really, right? Mm -hmm. So three screens of video conferencing, typically three or four microphones on the table. This would give the IT organization the ability to see there's a poor performing teleconference session and, and be able to pinpoint that this group of users had a sound quality problem and see that it was that microphone facing those people and be able to get someone on site to replace the microphone or check its connection without having to roll a technician on site to figure it out. It's that level of granularity that they get. Now is there anything that, uh, any assistance that you can offer when IT managers see that there's an issue with their mobile users now, you know, where, where those, the traffic might be crossing wireless networks. It all comes down to, as with any kind of management, service delivery management approach, is where you're monitoring and where you have visibility. Mm -hmm. Net, NetScout is widely deployed in mobile networks. We have 130 service providers that have deployed our technology, mostly in mobile networks. And, and where we see the, the evolution of unified service delivery management is this ability to get metrics from across these different networks so that you would actually be able to pinpoint that. But in the case of a mobile user communicating with the rest of the uh, corporate team mm -hmm. and even in multiple locations, you would be able to clearly isolate it's that user and that user connection that's the problem if you don't have visibility into the, uh, the, the, the operator's network, you may not be able to pinpoint it. We also integrate into the soft clients. So for example, if that mobile user were using Microsoft Link as, as their client base, we actually have an integrated, um, very lightweight agent that sits in there and collects metrics from that endpoint, so we would actually have the view from, from the user perspective. Excellent. We've been talking here uh, in the TMC newsroom at Interop in Las Vegas with NetScout's Steve Shalita. Steve, thanks so much for joining me again. Thanks very much, Eric, appreciate it. Thank you, great to see you.